I'll be wearing the GA2100 Carbon Core Casio Oak G-Shock watch. Let's begin. Seder206 commented on my DW9052 G-Shock review video. My split reset button doesn't work. So it doesn't really matter which G-Shock you have. Usually there's three reasons why this happened, okay? First of all, because something is stuck between the button shaft. If that's the case, all you have to do is remove the bezel and clean the area around the button shaft and that should work right away. Second reason why this happened, probably because the movement has already been misaligned due to impact. I don't know how, I don't know why, but this usually happened on a DW9052 or most cheaper G-Shock watch. To fix it up, remove the back plate and make sure all of the button shaft are properly connected to all of those metal panel on the sides of the movement. Third reason why this happened, which is highly unlikely, but I've seen this happen before on a vintage models where the connection on the circuit board has already worn off over time from us pushing the buttons times and times again. If that is the case, you're gonna need to solder the connection back or if, if you've done all three and it still didn't work, just send the movement back to Casio to get it replaced. Joseph L. Moskali commented, I cannot get my 5594 to pair with my iPhone 10. Any support help will be appreciated. Okay, we are using the same phone. So all you have to do is reset the connection in the watch and reset the connection in your phones and then pair it again. And in order to do so, press the adjust button on this GGB100 and then press this adjust button again where the seconds will stop blinking. So this is basically the uh, second the time setting. In here, press this compass button in the upper right and hold it for about two seconds. Pair clear will appear. And now the pairing registration data in the watch are cleared out. And then you're gonna repair the watch to your phone and that should work already. I have a digital watch G9000 IC water vapor inside the glass. What is the solution? G9000 series mod men, they are known to be beaten up really really badly and even though mud cannot get in but water vapor could still get in over time because when you beat it up the o-ring could you know worn off from the heat from your wrist and from the environments and water vapor could get in but in this case since you own a g9000 the basic non solar power model the job is a lot easier to do just disassemble the movement like i did in this uh, disassembly video and just blow dry the interior that's pretty much it if you see water particles just wipe it off with a paper towel and that will clean it up and dry the interior first then put your movement back in if possible apply some grease sealant around the o-ring before you close up the back case basically what you're doing is cleaning the interior the same way you're cleaning a electronics that was exposed to water I have a top solar G-Shock, but it always resetting itself after pushing the light button. So there's usually two reasons why this happened. First, especially in the solar model, either the battery is low or you have a problem with your circuit board. I have a model, for example, over here. Look at that. This is a vintage Golfman with similar issues. It looks fine, but when I press this lower right button, which is the light button, it will erase the digital display and reset itself to 12 o'clock position again. Look at that. Each time I press it, it will do it all over and over again. You guys need to check the battery. It is at full charge right now. Look at all the bars in there, but it is still erase the display each time I press the button. So usually there's something damaged in the circuit board. Either the capacitor has already been expired or something else that was compromised. So the best way to fix it is just to swap the circuit board and not the battery if that's the case. You could try to swap the battery and if it works then good for you. But considering of how expensive a CTL1616 rechargeable battery is, you know what? It's better off to get another donor uh, watch and use the circuit board as a replacement and keep the rest for future use. In your opinion, what is the best Casio for military? My son is a uh, great army soon and I want to replace his DW6900. For military use, I highly recommend to use an NADG or a full analog G-Shock watch only because of the legibility and more reliableness, especially for when we are talking about G-Shock watches. But keep in mind, best for you to pick a G-Shock watch that has anti-magnetic feature in them so that way it won't be affected by all the gears used by the militaries get this one or any master of G with quad sensor triple sensor model it's gonna be a little bit more expensive but it's gonna be worth it much more reliable in the long run Mossberg says why is the frogman series so expensive I want one but not at that price once so this is the basic frogman the one that I have I know their frogman is expensive, so that's why I buy them used. And I would recommend you guys to buy them used as well if you're okay with that. Brand new frogman is expensive, but if you buy them used, you'll be able to save at least half the uh, 
original retail price but if you pay like 300 bucks and around 300 bucks price range i believe that is the sweet spot gwf 1000 is the best frog man yet if you want the triple sensor version of course you're going to be paying extra but then again buy them use you're going to be able to save a lot of money for that and you won't be having to lose a lot of money as well when you decide to sell them back in the future all right that just sums it all up for today's session i'll answer more uh in a separate video i don't want to make this video a lot longer and it's going to be too heavy and a lot of things for me to edit Thank you very much for watching. This is Jet Chef and I'm...